What is new at Trader Joe's? I sent my husband to shopping again, and this time he said 95% of the items he bought, we've never tried it before. <sighs> is it going to be good? Let's find out. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, routine videos, food review videos, and unboxing and haul videos. Today's video is one of your favorite content in this channel. Ta-da! Trader Joe's haul. But it's actually a different haul. I think the theme these days is that I sent my husband to shopping. Apparently, my husband loves shopping. Originally, I was a little bit on the fence. I was like, oh my gosh, he's not gonna buy anything good. But it turned out to be actually pretty great. So I sent him again and again to buy things that I like. But this time, I asked him to surprise me. Like, today is going to be a huge surprise. I have no idea what's in these bags. So, Let's find out together! Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out on your future content. And give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And let's get started. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. The first item... Ooh! This is interesting. He actually bought vegetable. <laughs> he, he, he's actually a carnivore. I am not vegetarian, but I love vegetarian food or I love to eat vegetables just because I love the texture. But hey, he actually bought vegetables. This is the Trader Joe's Gochujang Vegetable Stir Fry with Zucchini Spirals. Ooh, I think this is like a Korean food item, I believe, like Gochujang. Vegetable stir fry with zucchini noodles. This uh, this item looks really healthy. So if you look at the nutrition facts, it's 50 calories per serving, but don't get full because there are four servings per bag. So you're really eating 200 calories, but still it's healthy. It's vegetables. It's a lot of nutrients. And yeah, I am actually excited. It has zucchini spiral noodles, carrots, broccoli, ooh, red bell peppers, green beans, edamame, vinegar, soy sauce. This is definitely Asian flavor. And I don't believe I've seen this item, but this is probably relatively new. So yeah, we'll probably make a video sometime. Maybe we decide. All right, guys, this is the vegetable stir fry, and this oh, is yeah. this is the butter chicken. Well, the butter chicken. There, where's the chicken? Oh, it's right here. They don't give you very much. They don't give you a lot of chicken. Oh, but it tastes really good. But my husband said it tastes really, really good. It also comes with rice. And this is the vegetable. So let's try the butter chicken. Hmm. The flavor is really good. It's not as curry as I thought. Initially, I was a little bit worried because I was like, I don't like Indian curry just because it's a little bit too strong. But it's actually not too strong. And it's a little bit spicy, which I like. Also, I like the rice. This one tastes good. Butter chicken. Approved. Five yeah. Now let's try the Korean stir fry. This one is actually a more expensive item. Okay, let's try this. What do you think this? I think this was like okay. I think the stir fry tastes okay. It's nothing special though. It's like really quick frozen vegetable meal. You just stir fry it. The flavor is just like I don't know, like, how, how do you describe the flavor of the stir fry? It's very healthy. Mm. It's pretty good, but there's nothing special. I would give the stir fry maybe 7 out of 10, and the butter chicken maybe 9 out of 10. I wish there was more chicken though. Alright! Success! These are on the list. Yay! <gasps> There's a new salad item. In last week's video, he actually bought the Buffalo Ranch Chopped Salad, which is really good. It's actually really, really spicy and it has blue cheese in it, but I do appreciate the packaging that the blue cheese crumbles are actually packaged separately. So you can just portion it out without the blue cheese. So this time he bought the Southwest, Southwestern Chopped Salad with, oh, this one has tortilla strips, green onions, roasted pepitas, and spicy Southwest avocado dressing. Ooh, spicy avocado dressing, huh. 
Okay, this is going to be an interesting item. Sometimes I don't like super strong salad dressing just because like they will put extra flavor in there and that kind of covers the freshness of the salad. I kind of prefer a little bit dressing, just light dressing, not a lot. <gasps> I genuinely hope this one tastes good because I've never seen it but I also love cauliflower rice. Oh my gosh, I hope this tastes good. Have you tried this before? I've never seen this in store. Maybe it's there, it's just I haven't found it. Okay, so this is the Trader Joe's spicy Mexican style riced cauliflower with tomatoes, tricolor bell peppers, and jalapenos. And it's actually a vegan item. My favorite thing about Trader Joe's is it does label the food based on like if it's vegan or vegetarian and I that and I do think it's a little bit easier for us to pick the food because like sometimes like it seems like vegan but it's not but this one is actually clearly labeled for my vegan friend oh, it smells so good it smells so good from the back like seriously i'm not exaggerating like if i'm if i was actually in store i'll probably pick up this item if i see it because it smells so 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 good it smells really really spicy with that mexican style like seasoning yeah so i'm really really excited about this one i genuinely hope it tastes good so each bag has four servings each servings is 50 calories um it's pretty good it's pretty healthy because it's cauliflower rice with a lot of vegetables so a lot of nutrients in this bag yay i really like the asian style cauliflower rice from costco but now we're gonna compete it with this hopefully this is good <gasps> yay guys guys my prayers are answered thank you so much for those who commented in my last trader joe's haul video i really really appreciate a comment so in last trader joe's video i had this question about like whether the trader joe's butternut squash ravioli was good because i love butternut squash but i've never tried the butternut squash ravioli until I went on a yoga retreat and then we actually had a personal chef and she was so amazing. But again, it's probably gonna be a little bit different because like the personal chef actually cooked it like fresh. This is still from the package, but if the flavor is good, again, like it takes a lot of effort to make ravioli fresh. So I will be settled. So um, thank you so much for commenting on the video, telling me that this is bomb. So we bought it. So this is something that I told my husband, you have to get it. We have to try it. I think we're going to try it tonight. I'm so excited. The Trader Joe's butternut squash ravioli. I hope it tastes good. So there are three servings per container. Each servings is 200 calories. So this is like 600 calories. Yeah, but we're gonna share it, so it's gonna be okay. Okay, ta-da! Just wanna say I'm so grateful for you guys for commenting good recommendations for good food combo. So big shout out to my subscriber who commented in my video, in my last video, that to match the butternut squash ravioli with the sweet apple chicken sausage. <gasps> okay, we're gonna try this tonight. We're gonna try this tonight. In today's video, we're gonna test out the Trader Joe's butternut squash ravioli with the vegan bolognese style pasta sauce with the Trader Joe's sweet apple chicken sausage. This combo was recommended to me by my subscriber. Ready? Let's try this out. You can see there's a huge chunk of butternut squash in the middle. Now let's try out the texture. It is so creamy. It has a sweet taste from the butternut squash. And the whole texture is it's a little bit al dente on the outside and creamy and soft in the inside. It's just so much flavor. Mmm. Let's try the sausage. Mmm. The sausage is so good. So sweet. And it complements the butternut squash taste from the ravioli. So highly recommend this combo. So good. Trader Joe's, you did it again probably gonna be amazing i've tried a jalapeno chicken sausage from trader joe's but i've never tried a sweet apple chicken sausage so i'm really 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 excited about this one because i love that sweet flavor when it comes to me i know i know it does contain grams of sugar per serving but hey 
We're gonna try this out. Let's just call it Parmesan bland. <laughs> this is for a ravioli as well. These cheese are really good. They taste really good. They don't taste, you know, sometimes you bought those like store-bought cheese. They're not like super, I don't know if it tastes like weird, but these are actually pretty good from Trader Joe's. So we got like a cheese blend. I love Parmesan cheese. It's just something special about it. But I also like cheddar cheese and Gouda cheese. Actually, Gouda cheese is my favorite. Greener cherries, need I say more? Cherries are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fruits. So we got some cherries. Oh my gosh! Huh. <gasps> what is this? I have never tried this before. Actually, oh my gosh, this is like a super, super interesting concept that I've never heard about it before. Is this new? Oh my gosh, this is the Trader Joe's Kung Pao Chicken Mochi Balls. Wow! Wait a second. This is spicy chicken in a crispy, chewy mochi rice wrapper. Oh my gosh! So it's Kung Pao Chicken in a mochi ball. I've only had like sweet mochis. I've never tried a savory mochis. This going to be this is going to be really interesting. So you can heat it up in toaster oven or conventional oven. I wonder if it's possible in the air fryer. I don't know. We'll probably try one or two in the air fryer and then use the toaster oven or conventional oven for the rest. I don't know. Have you have you cooked this item before? Like can you use air fryer or you prefer to use oven? Wow, this is so interesting. So each three pieces is 270 calories. So this is definitely not the healthiest you could go. And this is definitely a side dish as well. This is not going to be your main dish. This is going to be like an appetizer type of deal. But <gasps> I'm actually really excited about this one because it's like beyond my imagination. Like it's beyond my imagination, like how the flavors and textures are going to play out. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Fresco all natural, the salami and cheese. This is like salami and cheese. This is for my husband's cauliflower pizza because we bought a vegetarian pizza, but he puts salamis or pepperonis on top. And he sometimes put it like in his um, mac and cheese or any raviolis. He just loves to add these things. I'm just like, e I'm okay. Next item. Trader Means Chicken and Vegetable Wonton Soup. Trader Means. Okay, do you guys know that wonton soup is one of the things I'm very good at making? Okay, I am not a good cook, to be honest with you. I don't know how to make a lot of items. But when it comes to wontons, bows, and dumplings, I am good. Well, partially it's because like my mom where she grew up uh, when she was little she used to go to this like dumpling shop a noodle shop and she used to just go and watch the chef cooking and back then like they had the open kitchen like they had the glass and then the people would just make dumplings and noodles in the like kitchen where you can actually see through the glass my mom said that she used to look at them for hours when like she was sent to the store to buy things for the family so she was amazed about how people make noodles and dumplings out of scratch. So she learned and she never taught me before, but since I know that flavor and I have observed things that she does, I am really good when it comes to wonton soup, dumplings and bows. And there we go. So we're gonna see if this Trader Ming's wonton soup is better than the real Ming's wonton soup. Wait a second. Like Trader Mix is probably a real Ming as well, but let's see the store brand and the YouTube brand, which one is better. So we're gonna probably test this out. And I actually have a really high standard when it comes to wonton soup, so it better taste good. <gasps> Ooh, this is an interesting food. This is a starter. This is called shakshuka, shakshuka. Um, Shakshuka starter. This is a spiced stew of tomatoes and peppers. Interesting. It says bring your own eggs. So when you cook this item, you actually have to bring your own eggs. So it's probably something that I shouldn't be taking to work. I probably should just like eat it at home or something. And this one, there are two servings per container. Each container is 150 calories. Um, if you add an egg, if you add an egg, so it's probably like 300 calories the whole box if you add two eggs, I think. 
So two eggs. This is something interesting. I've never tried. I, I don't even know something like this existed. So it says you can use iron skillet. Hopefully ours looks just as good as this one. Probably have my husband make it since I don't trust myself to make anything that's not Asian food. Okay, so we got some lactose free milk. Second that. Moving on. Excited. Oh. The first item in the set of second bag is Trader Joe's bread. This is probably nothing special. This is just the white bread. I'll just eat it for breakfast. You know, almond butter. I was gonna say peanut butter jelly sandwich, but we'll probably just make the almond butter jelly sandwich. Actually, I love almond butter. It's just so good. We got Sammy bananas. We got some cucumbers. These are the best cucumbers in the world. These are Asian cucumbers, because some people call it Japanese cucumbers, Chinese cucumbers. This is the only cucumbers we had in China until like we started to import food from America. So we didn't have the big chunk cucumbers until like very recently, but this is actually the cucumber I grew up with, so the long ones. So the reason why I bought cucumbers and green apples is that recently I got a juicer and there's just so many different recipes online and one of my favorite recipe is actually green apples plus cucumbers it tastes so good because the cucumber is very refreshing and it doesn't have the weird taste like the other vegetables and the green apples is just so great it's sour it's sweet it's just a great green combination so I got some green apples and cucumbers So interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna cook this. I probably need to look it up on the internet, but this is the first time I encountered something like this. This is the Trader Joe's matcha green tea Japanese noodles, and this one is wheat, um, buckwheat, and green tea Japanese noodles. I love matcha. But I've never had matcha noodles because I usually just drink it. Like I drink it with fruit, I drink it with milk. But this is like interesting. Matcha, matcha noodles. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna have to try this out. Wow. Sodium. The sodium content is actually really high. So I don't know if the season is in there. But if you look at the sodium content, it's actually 700 milligrams of sodium, which is really high for dry noodles. So it's probably like with salt, but I don't know. I'm really intrigued. I love matcha, but I've never had it in a noodle item. So I've had green noodles, but they're spinach noodles, not a matcha noodle. Some pasta sauce. We got some ooh, vegan pasta sauce. Okay, this is something interesting. We will buy vegan sauce and vegan ravioli and mix it with the chicken sausage. Very good combo. Hey, but I'm really, really interested in this ravioli combo and we're gonna use this pasta sauce for the ravioli. Ooh. This is interesting. I've never bought soup from Trader Joe's. This is the Trader Joe's corn papalano chowder. It's a chunky and a flavorful soup with corn, potatoes, and papalano peppers. Interesting. I love papalano. Papalano, papalano peppers, um, but I've never tried soup. Tried it in soup. So each container is 370 calories. Oh, you just heat it up or microwave. You can heat it up with stovetop or microwave. Interesting. We'll probably do like a maybe YouTube shorts. I don't know. We'll definitely keep you posted. Okay, so let's see how much my husband spent in today's haul. Wow. It's actually pretty affordable because I was thinking it's probably like $80 because like we bought a lot of like meat items, we bought a lot of food items, but Trader Joe's is actually fairly affordable with all those fruits and vegetables and those convenient food and the milk. We spend a total of $63.
That's actually pretty good. There are 29 items. $63 for 29 items. It's really good. Like usually you don't get this prize in other grocery store. Yeah, the most expensive one is the cherry, followed by the vegetarian stir fry, which is interesting since it's made of vegetables only. But yeah, I'm so excited to test out all of the new items. Most of these items in this haul I've never tried it before, so a lot of review videos coming your way soon. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my haul unboxing, my mysterious Trader Joe's bag. I am so, 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 so excited this time because it's kind of like unboxing like a mystery box like you know how the, they have this in makeup or a lifestyle items you don't know what you get you get like eight items nine items i got 29 items and only like one item i knew he was gonna buy and the cherry i'm so excited already that's it for today's trader joe's haul i hope you had fun hauling these items with me and of course we will film some review videos either in the long form or the youtube shorts so make sure you ring the notification bell so that you know every time i upload a new video and before you go don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out with the channel and i'll see you in my next video bye thanks for watching